Well, you know, 2019 almost here and we have a lot to look forward to in 2020. And joining us to talk about all the state has to offer this coming year is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Thanks for being here. Always great to have you in studio. Always glad to be here. Before we get to 2020, let's kind of look back. We've had a hard year as far as the seafood industry here in Louisiana. I'm sure everybody out there wants to get an update on uh, how things are looking there. Well, we've got to get that money that Congress appropriated to the fishermen, number one. Secondly, it's not enough money, uh, but long term, uh, we've got to have a resilient plan uh, because we're going to see this spillway probably open more and more with the rains and increased uh, high river that we have. Uh, so we've got to have a long term plan to uh, to move quickly to uh, fix the fishing industry after these devastating floods. Long term, uh, as president of the Lieutenant Governor Association, we passed a resolution asking Congress to uh, do an inspection fee on imported seafood. Uh, we've got to have a long term plan to inspect more imported seafood. It'll help drive the price up a little bit to help our local fishermen and also point out the difference of that imported seafood uh, that's not being inspected is not safe and really show the difference between our local seafood. So we've got a lot of plans. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got to get some legislation passed in Congress. Uh, the good news is every lieutenant governor supported it when we showed them what the imported seafood has in it. So it's a great opportunity for every state to back it and support some kind of inspection fee on imported seafood. You said this is a long-term thing. I know, I know these oyster beds, they don't recover in a year. It takes years to recover. As far as the opening of the spillway, is there anything planned as far as this, or is this the new normal for us? Well, uh, you know, I think first off, we've got to look at if we keep all the passes in the mouth of the river dredged and upriver. Uh, we haven't dredged a lot of those passes that are designed to be kept at 18 feet, they're three feet. So when they're silted in, that that river backs up. Uh, maybe we've got to look at some long-term dredging plans and use that dredge material beneficial, all of it to lower, to protect our coast, and, and also dredge that river and deepen it, and, and maybe we won't have to open it as often. Now, let's hope that is the future for us. So let's, speaking of the future, let's go into 2020. Uh, always, you get the best job in, in, the, in the I state. Uh, a lot to look forward to, uh, the Sugar Bowl's coming. Uh, what, what, what can we expect here locally and in the state for 2020? Incredible numbers last year, our largest increase ever, 51.3 uh, million people visited Louisiana. But with the new cruise line coming, Disney next mm -hmm. year, uh, now the river cruises, and they're going to be embarking on North Louisiana, getting off those boats. Uh, tourism, the future's bright for all of the state. What a great opportunity. The Sugar Bowl will be dropping that ball here. Uh, people all over the world will be watching uh, midnight here in New Orleans. And then, of course, with the national championship years later. Uh, the, the, the sporting industry has really uh, uh, bloomed in the last years, not only for New Orleans, but Olympic trials in Shreveport, Dizzy Dean World Series in Ruston. We're placing events all over Louisiana that's really adding to our sports uh, profile for the Louisiana. You're really bringing people here, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you so much for the coming in and sharing Happy with New us. Year. Happy New Year to you. Looking forward to 2020. Go Tigers. Go Tigers, <laughs> especially go Tigers.